When was the last time a defending national champion did not finish over 500? Well, that was, of course, LSU in 2020. Coming off a perfect 2019 season, just 5-5 five and five for the Bayou Bengals, and they needed two dramatic wins the final two weeks to even pull that off over, of course, Ole Miss 53-48 and uh, Florida in the shoe-throwing incident. All right, LSU's win probabilities for 2021 in a possible probable comeback season to some extent. Uh, please lock it in here at the Voice of College Football, SEC. We bring coverage every day of college football, SEC style. McNeese State would be the most likely win, most of a sure guarantee for the LSU Tigers. McNeese State is playing college football right now. They're playing one of those spring seasons for the FCS. They got two games left. As of this date of uh, March 29th, they're two and three. Their final game is on April 10th, so they've got a quick turnaround, less than five months, to play fall football. McNeese State, 98% win probability for LSU. How about Louisiana Monroe staying in state again? Louisiana Monroe, the most hapless team in FES football last season at 0 and 10. Their point differential was 42 to 16, average per game, 42 to 16. And uh, the Tigers and Louisiana Monroe get together on November 20th, and LSU with a 98% chance of winning. All right, how about Central Michigan? We knock it down to 93%. Uh, Central Michigan coming off a 3-3 three and three campaign in the MAC. LSU and CMU get together on September 18th, of course, in Death Valley. All right, let's get to some tougher foes. And Arkansas, uh, the Hogs coming off uh, a campaign in which a lot of people projected they would go winless, having to play 10 SEC games after having not won an SEC game in two consecutive seasons. Arkansas, though, won three, should have won four, the Auburn game. November 13th, as LSU and Arkansas we give the Bayou Bengals a 77% guarantee of winning this game. The battle for the golden boot. It's a 42-22 all-time series in favor of LSU. Interesting trip to start the season. LSU going out to UCLA. This is a pretty much of a, a marquee matchup just in terms of brands, traditions that are known, colleges that are known across the country. LSU and UCLA may not be the best of football games. UCLA still not finding their footing under Chip Kelly. This 2020 campaign was actually their best and most competitive season. They went 3-4. and four. They took USC down to the wire. Should have won that game to finish at 4-3. and three. Outplayed the Trojans. UCLA may have something going, but again, the win-loss record uh, not showing that under Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly uh, has faced LSU. That coming off uh, a 2010 trip to the national championship game against Auburn in a top three ranking in 2011, but uh, LSU took care of uh, Oregon in that one, 40 to 27 at Arlington Stadium, Cowboys Stadium. But this is the first time that UCLA and LSU have met on the football field. This will be at the Rose Bowl. We'll see what uh, the pandemic has to say about crowds uh, filtering into the Rose Bowl for this one. Again, September 4th at the Rose Bowl, UCLA and LSU. 72% chance of LSU going all the way across country and winning this game. Next up would be a date at uh, Mississippi State on uh, September 25th. We'll give LSU a 68% chance of winning. One year removed from the Mike Leach, KJ Costello coming out party in week one of their careers in the SEC, throwing for 623 yards in Death Valley. Although it didn't go too well for Mike Leach and company and KJ Costello the rest of the year, they had that one big day at LSU for 623, an SEC record. But uh, this time around, LSU with a 68% chance of defeating Mississippi State in Starkville on September 25th. The Auburn game, we've got a 64% chance for LSU at home against Auburn. This date is uh, one week after Mississippi State, the first weekend of October. This has been a close series throughout, of course. Uh, Gus Malzahn moving on to Central Florida. LSU went 5-3 and three against him, though losing 48-11 to 11 in embarrassing fashion against Auburn on the Plains this past season. It's 31-23 all-time in favor of LSU. And the first date against Brian Harson's Auburn Tigers comes on October 10th. And again, 64% chance of LSU coming away with a win. How about the Florida game? 
the um, 2020 collision became epic in Gainesville with Florida looking for a college football playoff appearance with only one loss, a close one to Texas A&M at that point. But the shoe-throwing incident late in the game gave LSU second life and a chance to pull it out at 34-31. And, of course, uh, Florida missed the last second kick. Florida LSU, the game will be played um, at LSU when we give uh, the Bayou Bengals a 60% chance of winning this one on October 16th. LSU and Ole Miss, this is one of the better rivalries in college football that gets under-publicized. Again, they played a crazy 53-48 game in 2020. And uh, Ole Miss is coming off a bowl win against a good Indiana team. Let's give, even on the road, LSU a 58% chance of defeating the Rebels on October 23rd. Of course, LSU plays Florida out of the East every season. The other game rotates. Uh, they played, um, they've got a date up against uh, Kentucky. Of course, the rotation was out the door in 2020 with the two additional SEC games for a 10 game schedule, but they're back on the rotation. Kentucky takes on um, LSU, and uh, they have played some wild games recently in this series. Of course, the 2002 upset on the crazy uh, play in which there was the uh, Gatorade dousing on the Kentucky sideline, but LSU pulled it out, uh, courtesy Devery Henderson from 75 yards. And then in 2007, even though LSU would eventually win the national championship, they lost a game, two games in overtime, one to Arkansas, one to LSU, 43-37, when they were number one in the country. So, We've got LSU with 40 wins in the series against Kentucky, 16. They go to Lexington on October 9th, and I give LSU a 54% chance of winning this one. Texas A&M and LSU, this has been a good series. Of course, LSU dominated once Texas A&M stepped into the SEC in 2012. But A&M has won two of the last three, the monumental 74-72 decision two years ago, and a defensive struggle 20-7 this past year. Let's give LSU at home a 53% chance of defeating Texas A&M on the final day of the season. And finally, of course, Alabama is an overwhelming favorite against everyone, including LSU. And even though this is typically the marquee game in the conference, one that gains the the CBS ratings above anyone else, uh, the game in which CBS selects as being the, the night selection for the SEC schedule, Alabama has Dominated 55 17 last season. Of course, the 2019 Joe Burrow win over Tua Tunga Bailoa was LSU's only win in the series since the 2011 BCS championship game. Bama's won 9 of 10. And uh, again, they lead the all time series 54 26. Bama's got an 81% chance of winning this one at home in Tuscaloosa on November 6th. That's our LSU breakdown. Game-by-game game win probabilities going from McNeese State to Alabama, and we give LSU a better than 50-50 chance of winning 11 of these 12 games. That's not a prediction. That's a win probability number for each one of these games. We will finalize our predictions sometime in August right here at the Voice of College Football, SEC.